Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your boy, your host, your mechanic KB. And if you're new to the channel, I want officially say welcome to the channel. If you're obviously coming back, reoccurring, how you been, man? Did you see the new M5 reveal that came out last week? Let me know what you thought about that. Yeah, let me know what you thought about that. But um, this video is not going to be as, as exciting as other videos because it's basically a bolt on, bolt off. But I want to show you guys how to actually replace your front wing, front fenders for your cars, really, truly. Like, if they're damaged, if you've got a new one spare I don't know I don't know but main purpose of this video is to show you guys how to replace your damaged quarter panels wings front wings front fenders you know you get the gist you get the gist let me cue a little it's a little unboxing that's the one unboxing <laughs> Adhesive, adhesive here. Uh, nah, it just needs a clean and a polish. Like, obviously, you guys can see it as well. This is looking beautiful. Get that. Oh, this might as well be a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> the fact that it also came with the bracket indicator. Don't, no, hold on, hold on. Is that a bulb? That's a bulb. Oh my god. This is just a madness. Alright, let me inform you guys. Let me give you guys the 411 little 312 the details the details um i can't remember them <laughs> but i think i picked it up for 30 30 pounds i was gonna get the original basically panel beat it out but then i saw this for like 30 pounds i was like oh well done 30 pounds time is money <laughs> That's a no-brainer right there. All right, let me get the tools ready. Show you guys the tools I'm gonna to need obviously to take this off. Many, many minutes later. So the tools that I need, the, the ones, the tools that I need. Oh my God. Let me show you them quickly. Give you a quick little glimpse. Impact driver, obviously. You always need that. W14, that's inevitable. The maintenance spray. Oh my God, you need that definite. <laughs> this is a must, <laughs> definite must. And this is if the bolts, nuts, just need a little bit more persuasion. Obviously, this is the ultra persuasion. This is a little... I was going to say something. I was going to say... <laughs> Let's leave that there. But, um, wire cutters, uh, long nose pliers, normal pliers, extra battery for the extra little bit of juice. And obviously, the toolbox. You don't need a toolbox that big. That's just overkill. Really and truly, all you need is a size A or size 10. Maybe a Phillips head screwdriver. Yeah, maybe a Phillips head. But I should be all right. Um... Let me pack all that up in the bag and then get moving to the other side. Yeah. show you guys the damage on this previous front fender so you can see what it looks like now as you can tell damage is it's gone in here i'm gonna say there's high spots low spots everywhere i think that's a high spot there low spot there another high this part is a high spot you can see the cracking like literally so that's the old next to the new and you can tell the color actually matches that's one thing i was mainly worried about that the color wouldn't match that's actually lucky man that is so goddamn lucky all right the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take off the top section because that's the easiest one to take off anyway Ooh, no i'll leave that till last i'll leave top section till last so that um when i take off all the other panels it's literally still being held on so the first ones i'm going to take off i think the hardest ones which will be the ones on the inside here so technically one up there there's another one down there and i think there should be a third one but i can't see it right now oh no there is so there's two up there 
So what we do now is I'm gonna get the extension bar, do pop pop pop, go onto underneath and do them ones. What I want to do is I want to take, I think it's another 8 mil or 10 mil here and there should be another one here to hold up the housing for the front light. I'm going to take off this one first, that one second and then switch on the car, turn the wheel so I can get in the inside of here and take off the section. Yeah. Girls, ladies, gentlemen, that actually looks beautiful. All right, so let's do the comparison. Let's see what the big major difference is. Major parts, obviously, the damage here. All the um, bolt holes, everything look like they match, look like exactly where they need to be. I may need to take off these little bolt clip things. I can't remember what they're called. And transfer them onto the new one. Indicator bulb still works, so I must just keep it as it is. Yeah, let's just swap it. Let's just switch and change. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at this. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Let me go turn that wheel. Close that bonnet. Oh shit. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Oh shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that segment in there. I'm gonna leave that segment. Jesus Christ, listen, I'm oh, smiling. <laughs> Alright, boys, girls, ladies, gentlemen, let me show you. This is the beauty of it. Oh, <laughs> that's all the main major damage. Obviously, apart from the front bumper, which has got the cracks, the ceiling, but there's another bumper coming in. Basically, is I, I can't even, I can't even reveal too much. I can't, I can't even talk too much. <laughs> Let me let me check in a little B roll. Oh sh! This is a perfect like whole video, whole video. I've been on the other side where there's no sun. This this. Oh, I trimmed up my beard today though. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Now the car actually looks like a car. Looks complete. Oh sh! Oh my god, from all angles. Oh, 150 pounds. 
Right, let me get in the car, sit down, give you guys a little update of what's going on, what's the new upcoming videos. Hey, what's going on upcoming videos? Right. Boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let me close the door so you can't hear John on his drums over there. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future build. I'm excited for everything. Oh, I can't sit like this. Oh, I'm sweating out. Oh. But yeah, basically over the weekend I ordered all the necessary part that's needed for the car and for the build just to go on without any interruption or any major interruptions. But because of the whole coronavirus lockdown situation, parts are going to take time to come. I also want to say, I know I said it last video, um, whether it's the car build, uh, the bike build, I want to honestly say thank you thank you for sticking around thank you for just being there really and truly i said i said to myself if one person watches the video i'm happy oh, i am over the moon and i know that one person is probably my mom or my dad well, it's probably both of them anyway but still i'm over the moon i'm literally over the moon for me the support that i'm getting from everyone all of you guys the guys the girls everyone bought my heart thank you thank you and uh i, I don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> Without further ado, if you enjoyed the episode, hit a thumbs up. If you disliked it, hit a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments below why. Why, why are you thumbing down, bro? What's going on, big man? <laughs> Here, like I always keep saying, we're a community. It's not my channel, it's our channel. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, someone write that down. It's not my channel, it's our channel. Quotation marks KB. <laughs> Hope you all have a blessed day today. Hope you have a blessed week, a month, and I hope you're all staying safe during this whole coronavirus situation. I'm your boy, I'm your host, I'm your mechanic KV, and I'm out, baby. Peace. Oh.